helicopter flights, especially if you are carrying children. This is how I grade the walking tracks. Easy. Anybody that can do a four hour walk on a hot day. Moderate. Fit people that can step up a metre. And hard. Athletic types that shouldn't show off in front of us. So tell me how Not camping near that bloke again. When in the Kimberley, got to be very careful of your water. It's the most important thing you're going to have out here. So aim very carefully. <laughs> ah, look at that. La 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 la. Doesn't come off. Hey? Eh? Here's your other leg. You like a chocolate brown smart. Caution needs to be made going to and from Columbaroo. You need to check shop times as it is a long way to travel for the next water and fuel stop. Shop times are not always accurate if there is a special town celebration or fair. The best way to find out is usually through other travellers. It always pays to stop and chat with your camping neighbour. Permits are obtainable in Columbaroo for camping further north.
This is one of many creek crossings. Some are tidal though, so stick to the obvious and main tracks as high tide will have no mercy. Here we are at War Gully Beach. It's a beautiful spot. It's about 60 k's north of Columbaroo. Um, it's a beautiful spot. There's two people here, or another car and ourselves. And uh, luckily for us, they know how to fish. <laughs> we'll be getting fresh fish. I'm a terrible fisherman. But you can just see the fish just literally jumping out of the water here. But I can't get one. But that's normal for me. <laughs> War Gully. Millionaire's paradise for only a small fee. The sunsets are to die for and the only reason you will want to leave this place is to stock up on food and water. So you've come back from your fishing and you've been outsmarted once again. You've got to have a bit of standby food just in case things like this happen. So I like to have a bit of uh, two minute noodles here but I find them a bit bland. So I, on top of the noodles, I'll put some uh, steak seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Steak seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Steak seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Steak seasoning. Okay, let's put it. Hang on a minute. Let's try that again. Steak seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Steak seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Steak seasoning. Cajun seasoning. <laughs> Cajun seasoning. <laughs> Steak seasoning. Okay, let's put it in there. Hang on a minute. This time, I'll start. Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Steak seasoning. Okay, let's put it in.
about your day when the evening falls there is something that I'll say with a breathless voice there is something that I'll say you sustain it bring back what you If I said it, I mean it. Out in the sunshine. I should have bought a Land Rover. <laughs> this heavy duty Trayback Jeep had broken its axle housing due to the corrugations. He had a three to four eat weight for a replacement. Suddenly, water becomes the first priority not beer. And God help anyone who stops our dance in the spotlight. Bring back what you bring. Bring back what you bring. If I said it, Mission Co. The scenery will take your breath away. We're packing up to go now. But we actually are not in a hurry because we have to wait for the tides. Because we're crossing tidal flat country. You can't cross in high tide, and at the moment we're on spring tide, so the hides are very high. Well, we actually use this for that as well. If you've got one of these with you, you can you just set it on for fish and hunt, and it says the best time to fish and hunt is just after the high tide, so you know when the high tide is. It's easy enough when you're on the ocean like this. We've got plenty of time. We can tell anyway. But when you're coming from the outback, coming across into this area, and you actually haven't seen the ocean yet and you have to cross the tidal flats, these things are great to use. Got a little time to spend, some time to spend alone. Told him not to visit me, I disconnect the phone. I wait here for me and you. These cattle trucks damage the roads up here no end. However, you need to remember that these roads were built for them, not us. To keep me on your side, I wait here for me and you. It's hard to drive in a straight line in Bulldust. Honest. And I said some things that I later regret, but I always have a smile on my face. Always have a smile on my face. Keep ahead of little things, but every day the same. It's waiting at the station. In the pouring rain, I wait here for me and you. Think of the chances that I'm gonna get here. Can you smell something? Can you smell something? Something in the back. The eastern end of the Gibb River Road is not graded as often as the western end. Most breakdowns are caused by speed and you can add a couple of days to your trip. Remember, you're on holidays. Slow down, take your time. You should try and walk any river crossing to check any hidden holes or rocks before attempting to drive over it. 
If possible, watch another vehicle go through to check wheel placement. Looking at a photograph of what I've left behind Promises I never keep, the words I had in mind I wait here for me and you And now you find This is a Pentecost River The biggest, meanest and most exciting crossing on the trip It all falls apart and it's not a way out Sometimes you get a bit disappointed on your trips. Come out here to Alquestro for a bit of peace and quiet. Pay a little bit extra for a secluded campsite. And what do you get? A noisy place like this. Noisy river, trickling all night. Birds in the trees making a racket. Oh, that's hard. Well, we'll be staying here a bit longer than we originally thought. But I think I'll just have to put up with it. Welcome back to Track Conditions. Our Questro has it all. Four wheel drive tracks, walking trails, hot springs, waterfalls and boat trips. Come along and check it out. The track to Emma Gorge goes from easy to hard. There is an exhilarating swim at one end and a five star restaurant and bar at the other end. My best day on the whole trip.
Our Questro Gorge is moderate up to this point, then hard. We couldn't continue with the children. Chamberlain River Crossing, rock and roll! Through the evening star Look and you can see her No matter who you are It's the sister's trailer The sister's trailer The land Our Questro classifies this track to Explosion Gorge as moderate. Once again, it's great to have stations that look after the four wheel drive tourists. Pay the fees gladly. It's better than not seeing anything at all. This is one of only two tracks that I thought was in need of a great free four-wheel drive. On the way to the upper spit hole, I lowered the tyre pressures to around 16 pounds per square inch due to the bulldust being so deep and both axles were still bulldozing the sand. One of the most spectacular gorges in the Kimberley is the Chamberlain Gorge, which is only accessible by boat. You can either take a guided boat trip or hire a tinny for the morning to view some excellent rock art at the end. 
And thanks to your faith and your trust, I will fight with your name, held up like a sword on the road, on the road to the cross, the road to the cross. And when I look behind me, I see that wave coming down. But I keep my eyes on you, cause I know I'm on hello ground. On the road to the cross. The road to the cross. shout from high places he is risen all is not lost i pick up my bags and follow you lord on the road on the road to the cross here we go on the road to the cross Otherwise? Yeah, like that. We got a fuel blockage here due to dirty fuel. Carolyn hitched a lift back to the swinging arm bar. For help, of course.